When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop. When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop. I'm hip hop Harry. We're about to enter another adventure at the hip hop center. This is the place where the fun begins, and you can't have a story without some friends. Is it you? Is it you? I need some more friends for this story. Is it you? Is it you? We'll explore new things. Come along and see. So my friends are in place. Let the story begin. Ready to learn and have fun. Well, come on in. When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop. Hip hop. When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop. Hip hop. It's on. School was amazing. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Hey, what's this? Hey, what are all these things? Why do they wind up on the floor like this? Yeah, what are they doing there? It's a mystery. It is a mystery. A mystery game, that is. Hey, hey Hip Hop Harry! Harry! Hey, kids. Hip Hop Harry, what kind of game is this? Yeah, why are all these things lined up? That's the mystery. Do you think you can figure it out? You bet we can. Yeah. Yeah. I know what game it is! I know what all this stuff is for. It's for the ABC game! That's right. And you know that's one of my favorite games. ABC? What sort of game is that? I know. It's like a treasure hunt. But instead of looking for treasure, you look for things in the room that begin with the letters of the alphabet. Ha <laughs> ha! If you count all the letters in the alphabet from A to Z, you have 26 letters. I started you off with the first 10 letters. Now, why don't you put each object under the correct letter? A is for apple and B is for basketball. Uh -huh. And C is for cup. Uh -huh. <laughs> Those were easy. Very good. Anyone else want to try? D is for drums. E is for egg, and F is for football. That's right. Very good. And G is for grapes, and H is for hat. Ha <laughs> ha, you've got it. Elizabeth, why don't you finish off round one with the last two letters? I guess I is for ice, and J is for jar. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. Great job on the first 10 letters of the alphabet. You know, the alphabet is really important. Without it, we couldn't make words. Before you write and before you read, you need the alphabet. It's the ABCs. Before you write and before you read, you need the alphabet. It's the ABCs. A is for apples. They grow on trees. B is for basketball, bowl, and bees. After B is the letter C. C is for cup, camera, and cheese. After C comes the letter D. D is for drums, dolls, and daisies. Then comes E as in egg or ear. It's the ABCs that we see in here. Before you write and before you read, you need the alphabet. It's the ABCs. Football, here's a pass. G is for grapes, globe, and glass. H is for hat that you wear on your head. I is for ice and for ice cream instead. J is for jelly, jam, and jar. Or even jump rope that you play in the park. They're important to you, it's important to me. It's the alphabet, it's the ABC. Before you write and before you read, you need the alphabet. It's the ABC. Before you write and before you read, you need the alphabet. It's the ABC. Okay, crew. Now, we are ready for round two. Letters K, L, M, and N. But this time, each of you needs to find an object that begins with the letter I give you. Okay, Veronica, you're up first with the letter K. Hmm, all right, the letter K. Go, Veronica, go, go Veronica. Veronica, go, Veronica, go, Veronica, go, Veronica, go, Veronica. Go, Veronica. Go, Veronica. Go, Veronica. I got it. K is for keys. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. Go ahead, Hayden. You have the letter L. I found something in the kitchen that'll work. Yeah. Go, Hayden. Go, go Hayden. Hayden. Go, Hayden. Go, Hayden. Go, Hayden. Go, Hayden. I got it. A lemon. 
Lemon starts with L. Yeah, yeah. a lemon works perfectly. Great. Put it on the line. Haha, <laughs> nice. William, please find something that starts with the letter M. No problem. Haha. <laughs> Go, William. 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 Yeah. For M, I found this map. Haha, <laughs> great going. Yeah. Now, Elizabeth, you have the letter N. Okay, I will try my best. Yeah. Go, Elizabeth. 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 I can't find anything. Do you want some help? I do need some help. I'm not very good at this game. May I help? Sure. Go, Veronica. 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 How about a newspaper? Newspaper starts with an N. Oh, yeah. Aw, that's okay, Elizabeth. There's always the next round. Does everyone know what's in a newspaper? No. Words. And what are words made of? Letters. Right. And every letter comes from? The alphabet. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Now, let's start round three of the ABC game. This round, we're going to find objects that start with the letters O through V. But this time, instead of matching one letter with an object, you're going to match items for two letters. That's going to be a lot harder. Maybe not. Just watch the other kids and you'll catch on. Okay. Hayden, you're up. You have letters O and P. And at the same time, Veronica, you find letters Q and R. Go! Go, go, go Veronica. Veronica! Go, go Hayden! Hayden. Go, go, Veronica! Go, Hayden! Go, Veronica! Go, Hayden! Go, Veronica! Go, Hayden! Go, Veronica! Go, Hayden! Go, Veronica! I found something! For O, I found this orange. And for P, I found this really big penny. <laughs> Great job, Hayden! Yeah! And what did you find, Veronica? For Q, I found this old quilt in the library. And for R, I found this long rope. R is for rainbow, river, and rope. <laughs> yeah! Great job, you guys. You know, we are more than halfway done with the alphabet now. Let's keep it moving. So I'll take letters S and T. I guess that means I'll take letters U and V. Go, William. Go, go Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Go, go, William. William. Go, go, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Go, go, William. Go, go, 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 Elizabeth. Go, Harry. For letter S, I found this extra pair of shoes I had in my cubby. And for T, I found this toy truck. Hey, Bob Perry, that's two T's. Do I get an extra point for that? Good job. But this isn't a game where you earn points. The fun of this game is having everyone join in to use up all of the letters of the alphabet. Haha. <laughs> Elizabeth, have you found anything yet? No, Hip Hop Perry. Would you like someone to help you? I really would like to do it this time on my own. You. What starts with a U? What's the matter, Elizabeth? I don't think I want to keep playing. I know the alphabet, but I'm just not very good at this game. You know, sometimes when you have a problem you can't solve by yourself, you should let your friends help. Sometimes to make sure that a problem ends, get help from your parents, teachers, and friends. Sometimes to make sure that a problem ends, get help from your parents, teachers, and friends. When things get too tough to do by yourself, look to your friends and ask them for help. Friends are there to give a helping hand. To never give up is the number one plan. Whenever you're dealing with a difficult task and you need some help, don't be afraid to ask. Whether it's homework or the ABC game, look to your friends and they'll do the same. Sometimes to make sure that a problem ends, get help from your parents, teachers, and friends. Sometimes to make sure that a problem ends, get help from your parents, teachers, and friends. Friends will be there through thick and thin. Whenever you need, you can call on them. 
Don't feel alone when the friend's around. A friend can turn your frown upside down. Friends can help you work through your problems. Put your head together with friends to solve them. So look to your friends, they're loyal and true. Next time you're in a jam, you know what to do. Sometimes to make sure that a problem ends, get help from your parents, teachers, and friends. Sometimes Hip-Hop Harry, there's nothing wrong with your friends helping you solve a problem. Okay, you guys, I think I need help with the letter U. I'll give you a hint for you. What do you use when it rains? Oh, I've got it. You can be for an umbrella. Go, Elizabeth! Go, Elizabeth! Go, Elizabeth! Go, Elizabeth! Go, Elizabeth! Go, Elizabeth! V, V, V. Can I help? Sure, I'd like that. I'll give you a hint. I'm thinking of something we eat that grows on a farm. They're really healthy, too. Vegetables! Go, Elizabeth! Go, Veronica! 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 We did it! Yeah! Teamwork, 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 teamwork! Go, 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 go! I am so proud of you all, but we still have the last round of letters, which are W, X, Y, and Z. These are the hardest of them all, so in this round, you will all work together as a team. Wow, I'm not sure if we are going to get any of these letters. They might be way too hard. We can stop now. I know we can do it if we all work together. Teamwork, 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 teamwork! All right. Now let's get started with W. Worm starts with W. Maybe we can go out in the playground and find a worm. A worm? No way. Wait a minute. What about that wagon? That's a great oh, idea. Yeah. Go, Elizabeth. 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 <laughs> great job, Elizabeth. That was a tough one. But the next letter is even more of a challenge. It's X. X? Wow, that's going to be a hard one. I'll give you a hint. It's a musical instrument. I've got it. Go, Elizabeth. 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 A xylophone. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Now. We're down to the last two. Can anyone find an object that begins with the letter Y? Let's think of some words that start with Y. How about yogurt? Good one. But we don't have any yogurt today. How about yarn? Hey, I know where the yarn is. Go, go William. William. Go, go William. William. Go, go William. William. Go, go William. William. For the letter Y, I found this yellow yarn. Yeah. There you go. Now we're down to the final letter of the alphabet. Letter Z. Wow, all the other letters were easy compared to this one. How are we going to find an object that begins with the letter Z? Wait a second, I've got it. I found the letter Z. My sweatshirt has a zipper. It was right under my nose the whole time. You guys really know your ABCs. Yeah, look at all these things. One for every letter. A is for they grow on trees. B is for pass it to me. C is for D is for E is for this is fun. F is for G is for H is for you're doing great. I is for J is for K is for people need it for cars. Four. M is for, yeah. there's a whole lot you can learn from that. N is for, yeah. let me read. O is for, Boy. they have seeds. P is for, Ready. remember to say. Q is for, Whoa. it could be handmade. R is for, Whoa. S is for, yeah. when outside, they're what we use. T is for, Watch correct. Up. U is for, Umbrella. what's next? B is for, is for. that's right. W is for, Ready. let me ride. X is for, Elizabeth is the ABCs. 
When I say hip hop, you say Harry hip hop. Hip hop, put this on. Now that the game is over, we really should put all these things away. Sounds good to me. Come on, everyone. Let's put everything away. Fun, but we must remember to clean up when we're done. We sing this song, it's a hip hop treat. Whenever we're making the place look neat, so pick up your toys, pick up your toys. Put, them away. put them away. It's time to clean up. It's time to clean up. We can play another day. Clean up, you show you care, so pick up your toys. Don't forget your box. Pick up your toys. Pick up your toys. Put them away. Put them away. It's time to clean up. It's time to clean up. We can play another day. We can play another day. Yeah! Look at this place. It looks great. Everything is back where it belongs. Great job, everybody. Yeah! Yeah! Go, go, go! There's nothing better than a great day at Hip Hop Central. And I want you all to know that you make me so proud. Do you know why? Yeah! Because I love to learn! That's right! the letters of the alphabet are not just used for reading. They are also used for playing a really fun game. What else did we learn today? Yes, Elizabeth? I learned that there's nothing wrong with your friends helping you solve a problem. Let's take a look. What's the matter, Elizabeth? I don't think I want to keep playing. I know the alphabet, but I'm just not very good at this game. Sometimes when you have a problem you can't solve by yourself, you should let your friends help. Sometimes to make sure that a problem ends, get help from your parents, teachers, and friends. Sometimes to make sure that a problem ends, get help from your parents, teachers, and friends. Thanks to all of you, I was able to catch on to the game. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime. Yes, Hayden? I learned that it's important to put things away when you're finished with them. That way you'll know where they are the next time you want to use them. Let's check it out. It's important to put things away and keep them tidy. That way you'll know where they are the next time you need them, and they'll stay in better shape too. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. Well, now that everything is put away, we have plenty of room for my favorite exercise. And what's my favorite exercise? Dancing! That's right. It's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! When I say dance, you say circle, dance. Circle! Dance! Circle! All right. But before we get started, it's important that we do what? Warm up! That's right. And I have a warm-up dance for us to do. All right, OK. I want to teach y'all a warm-up dance. I created it myself. It's called Do the Harry. Let's go. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw 
Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. Do the hair. Do the hair. Do the hair. Do the hair. Somebody scream. Yeah. All right. Now that we've warmed up, it's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle. That's right. Let's do it. Outside, and staying inside gets boring. I'm really bored. Does anyone want to play Go Fish again? No. Aw, oh, come on, guys. The rain isn't that bad. Hip Hop Harry, we can't play outside. You know what's the best thing about rain? There can't be anything good about rain. Well, rain can bring a rainbow. What exactly is a rainbow? Let's go to the library and find out. I love to learn. <laughs> Check it out. After a long day of rain, the sun begins to shine. It shines through a raindrop. Inside, each raindrop bends the light into seven different colors, making a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Awesome. awesome! Wow, that's so cool. Hip Hop Harry, I saw a rainbow once, and it didn't have all those colors. Well, all seven colors are always there, Scott, but some of the colors are not as bright as the others, and so sometimes you can't see them. Oh, I get it. The bright colors sometimes outshine the other colors. Exactly! Now, you can't see rainbows all the time. There have to be enough water drops in the air, and the sun has to be shining just right, all at the same time. Hip Hop Harry, will we see a rainbow today? Hopefully. <laughs> hey! It's Riddles and Pinky! Hey! Hey! hey. How are you guys? Yeah. It's raining outside. It's raining. Oh. Oh. Guys, I have a great riddle for you today. What part of the body is most like a musical instrument? Hmm. Your feet, because they can tap. Whoa! Nice. That was cool! Nice footwork! But that's not it. Oh, Whoa. This is hard. I'm not sure if we're going to get it. Okay. Give up? Yeah. Give up. It's your nose! No. Oh, no. Your nose. Your nose. Because you can blow it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's still raining outside. What's fun that we can do inside today? Well, we played cards already. We read a book. And we even practiced some dance moves. We're kind of out of ideas. We've done a lot already. But we haven't made a rainbow. But a rainbow is made when sunlight hits a raindrop. It's not raining inside. How are we going to make a rainbow? There's something in that trunk that'll give you the answer. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah. T. 
T-shirts? That's right, T-shirts. Why don't you pass them out? Okay. Red. Orange. Thanks. Yellow. Thank you. Green. Thank you. Blue. Cool, thanks. Indigo. And violet for me. Great. That's my favorite color. So, Hip Hop Harry, what do you want us to do with these? Well, how many shirts are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ha <laughs> ha. And how many colors are in a rainbow? Seven. I think I get it. If you put on these colored t shirts, all seven of us together can make a rainbow. Exactly. When I say hip hop, you say Harry hip hop. Hip hop, put this on. You go over here. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Now that you guys are in the order of the rainbow, say your color loud and proud. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo. Ha <laughs> ha. You know hip hop, Harry. If you take the first letter of each color in the rainbow. It makes a really funny name. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, Roy G. Bibb. Whoa! <laughs> Riddles, that's a fun and easy way to remember the name and order of the colors of a rainbow. Roy G. Bibb. Let's do it again, but this time, even faster and louder. <laughs> Red, orange, yellow, green. What's the name that you need to know? Roy G. Bim! Roy G. Bim! It stands for the colors of a rainbow. Roy G. Bim! Roy G. Bim! What's the name that you need to know? Roy G. Bim! Roy G. Bim! It stands for the colors of a rainbow. Roy G. Bim! Roy G. Bim! of a rainbow are like a team. Seven different members of a color scheme. As the sun comes up and the rain stops, sunlight shines through the raindrops. Then the raindrops bend all the light inside to make a rainbow that we see in the sky. It's the best part of a rainy day. To help remember the colors, let me hear you say, what's the name that you need to know? Roy G. Bim! Roy G. Bim! It stands for the colors of a rainbow. Roy G. Bim! Roy G. Bim! What's the name that you need to know? Roy G. Bim! Roy G. Bim! It stands for the colors of a rainbow. Roy G. Bim! Roy G. Bim! Guys, we're gonna play a game called Do You See What I See? I don't think I've played that game before. How does it work? Okay, one person stands up, spots something in the room the same color as their shirt. Then they have to give clues to what they see without saying exactly what it is. So everyone has to pay attention to what you say or else we won't get it right. Exactly! But the cool part of the game is that the people who are guessing have to work together as a team. Why do you want us to work in a group? Wouldn't it just be easier if we yell at our guesses? Well, working with your friends can be a lot of fun. And when you work as a team, you have the combined brain power of many and not just one. I bet we can get all the answers right if we use teamwork. Everybody wins, and teamwork helps you make new friends. The work goes faster when we 
sing songs. So come on, team, and sing along. T, E, A, M. When I say team, you say work. Team, 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 team. E, A, M. When I say team, you say work. Team, 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 team. When you're in a team, it's always fun. You know there's two heads are better than one. To cooperate is really good. I'll cause your teammates as a group You can achieve your wildest dreams Work together because there's no I in team Doesn't matter who's last and who's first As long as everybody provides the teamwork T E <laughs> All right, so who wants to be the first to play Do You See What I See? May I go? May I go? <laughs> All right, JJ. So you spot something in the room the same color as your shirt and give us clues about what you've chosen. But don't say what it is. Oh, don't worry, I won't. <laughs> so, JJ, you have to look around the room and find something blue. Find something? Sure did. Then let the games begin! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I see something the same color as my shirt, and it keeps you warm. Isn't that blue blanket? Good idea, Scott, but let's wait and hear what the next clue is to be sure. All right. Okay. I see something that you wear on your head. Good thing we waited for the next clue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you don't wear a blanket on your head. That's just insane. <gasps> it's that clue blue hat. Look, it's by the front door. Yeah, I think, so. I think you're right, Megan. What do you guys think? I think that's our answer. Hey, may I say it? Go ahead. Of course. We see the cool blue hat. That's right. Wow, working together really works. Teamwork, 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 teamwork. That was a good one, JJ. You had us guessing for a while. <laughs> hey, may I go next? Hey, of course you can. <laughs> I see something the same color as my shirt. All right, guys, we're looking for something red. I see something that we use in school almost every day. I know, it's that red pencil. Nope, it's that red book. Sorry guys, I didn't work with the group like we said. It's great that you're thinking ahead, JJ, but remember, we're here to help. But maybe if I talked to you guys first, we could have gotten the answer right. Ah, uh, don't be so hard on yourself, JJ. We all make mistakes. Let's play again. But this time, let's work together as a team. That's right. Let's work together to figure out the right answer. Teamwork, 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 teamwork. I see something the same color as my shirt. OK, so we're looking for something violet. Mm -hmm. Right. It grows if you take real good care of it. Mm. Wow, guys. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Savannah, can we get another clue? I see something you could put in your house to make it look really nice. Whoa. I don't know. I think we're stumped. Yeah. We can't get it. We're stuck, Savannah. We don't see what you see. Mm. It's that violet flower. Oh! Yeah. Whoa! Hurry, everyone look outside! Whoa! Whoa. It's Whoa. Whoa. Crazy. So cool! Wow, I think that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's just like you said, Roy G. Biff. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. You know why I like it? Why? Because it means no more rain! Yeah. <laughs> 
bowl so pretty. Our bowl's so nice. A bowl made for rain. Fills up the sky. You can't have rainbows without the rain. Rain helps give colors to everything. A bowl so pretty. Our bowl's so nice. A bowl made for rain. Fills up the sky. You can't have rainbows without the rain. Rain helps give colors to everything. When I left my house this morning, I admit I was feeling down. The sky turned gray, the clouds rolled in, and the rain was pouring down. I had so many plans today, some things I wanted to do. My friends and I were going to go to the park to play games after school. Now that it is raining, we have to stay indoors. So I watched from the window as the rain continued to pour. Suddenly the rain stopped and the clouds rolled away. The sky was full with a great big bowl that brightened up the day. A bowl so pretty. A bowl so nice. A bowl made for rain. Fills up the sky. You can't have rainbows without the rain. Rain helps give colors to everything. Rainbows are so pretty. And they let the whole world know. Whenever it stops raining, the plants can start to grow. Red, orange, yellow, and the color green. Blue, indigo, and violet will make up the rainbow beam. I want to tell you a secret that I was told. me so happy when I get to spend time with you guys at Hip Hop Central. And I want you all to know that you make me so proud. Do you know why? Yeah, because I love to learn. <laughs> That's right. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. I had a question it needed an answer. I Ask my friends, they're hip-hop dancers. Where could I go? Where should I look to start our adventure? They gave me a book. I opened it up, and to my surprise, many fun things were hidden inside. I could learn about places far and near, or learn about what I want to do for my career. It's so much fun, just try and see. There's so many things that you can learn in the lot. Some fun today or what? We yeah! Sure <laughs> I learned today that you can have just as much fun playing inside as you can playing outside. What did you guys learn? I learned how rainbows made. Let's take a look. After a long day of rain, the sun begins to shine. It shines through a raindrop. Inside, each raindrop bends the light into seven different colors, making a rainbow. That was great. Megan, what did you learn today? I learned a really funny way to remember all seven colors of the rainbow. Let's check it out. What's the name that you need to know? Roy G. Bill, Roy G. Bill. Red, orange, Y, yellow, a green, B, a blue, a indigo, B. a violet. Have you seen it? We have to do that again. That name is so funny. There is no way I'm going to forget it. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn, Scott. What did you learn? I learned what teamwork is. Cool. Let's see. Working with your friends can be a lot of fun. And when you work as a team, you have the combined brain power of many and not just one. I bet we can get all the answers right if we use teamwork. T. E. That was a lot of fun. You can accomplish big things when you work in a group. Ha <laughs> ha, you sure can, Scott. And today was a great example of that. Now it's time to exercise. And what's my favorite exercise? Dancing! Ha <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> That's right. It's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! When I say dance, you say circle. Dance! Circle! Dance! Circle! <laughs> All right. But before we get started, it's important that we do what? Warm up! That's right. And I have a warm-up dance for us to do. All right, okay. I want to teach y'all a warm-up dance. I created it myself. It's called Do the Harry. Let's go. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands Okay, now that we've warmed up, it's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! That's right, let's do it! interested in a snack. I have some yummy dried apples. Oh yeah, that sounds great. My mom lets me have dried apples all the time. They're my favorite. I've never had dried apples. What are they? Well, dried apples are the same as regular apples, except they are put through a machine that removes all the water. They do it to all kinds of fruits, like apricots and pineapples. Really? That's right. Go ahead, try some. Okay. <laughs> Mmm, this tastes great. Hey, it's Megan. What's up? Hey. hey, guys. Megan, you have to try some of these dried apples. You won't believe how good they taste. Save me some if you want to. All right. Okay. But as good as these are, I don't think they'll be around for long. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Megan, how was school today? It was great. My teacher asked everyone what they wanted to be when they grow up. Cool. So, what did you tell your teacher? Well, I told my teacher that I didn't know. So she said to think about it and tell her tomorrow. Well, have you come up with any ideas? No, nothing yet. If you need some help figuring it out, just let me know. Thanks, Hip Hop Harry. I will. Ha <laughs> ha. Bam. Dum -dum -ch -ch. Dum -dum -ch -ch -ch. What do I want to be when I grow up? What do I want to be when I grow up? Hey guys, there's only a few more dried apples left. 
What do you think we should do with them? Mm, that's the easy one. We should eat them. But what about Megan? She doesn't look like she wants any. So I think we should eat them too. Wait a minute. I think we should save the rest of these dried apples for her. She said to save her some if we want to. So that doesn't mean we have to. Well, I think it'd be nice to save the rest of these for her. Yeah, you're right. That's what a friend would do. All right, all right, all right. She is our friend, and friends should share, even if they are the best tasting dried apples ever. <laughs> <laughs> Come sure. on, let's take them over to her. Hey, Megan, we saved you some dried apples. Thanks, that's really nice of you. Wow, these are incredible. You guys are the best. Hey, Megan, why are you sitting here all by yourself? Well, I'm just thinking. Tomorrow, I have to tell my teacher what I want to be when I grow up. So what do you want to be when you grow up? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking about. Well, maybe we can help you. Yeah, that would be great. How about if each one of us tell her what we want to be when we grow up? It might give you some good ideas. OK. I'll go first. I want to be an astronaut, because I want to go into space in a rocket or a spaceship. And I always wanted to be a teacher. I think it's really cool when my teachers show me something new. I like that, too. I keep on changing my mind, but the last thing I want to be was an ice skater. The outfits they wear are so cute. I love the way they glide across the ice. And the spins they do are awesome. And the jumps they do are incredible. Ta-da! OK, OK. I think she gets the point. You really want to be a nice skater. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really cool that you know what you want to be when you grow up. Doom, 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 doom. Excuse me, Hip Hop Harry. Huh? Hey, 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 what's up, Megan? Scott, JJ, and Savannah all gave me great ideas. But I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. That's OK. There are so many jobs to pick from that lots of kids have a hard time deciding what they want to do when they grow up. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> Time to choose from a big list of jobs that you can do. You could be a doctor and help cure a disease. You could be a ship captain and sail the seas. You could be a teacher and help spread knowledge from kindergarten, high school, and college. Carpenter, chef, and film producer are all types of jobs that you can choose from. When I grow up, what do I want to be when I grow up? What do I want to be when I grow up? What do I want to be when I grow up? You could play basketball and win championships, or be a scientist and build rocket ships. You could be a movie star, or be a script writer. You could save lives as a firefighter. You could be a novelist with books and libraries, or rhyme and teach like Hip Hop Perry. When you grow up, no matter what you do, just make sure you love whatever you pursue. When I grow up, what do I want to be when I grow up? What do I want to be when I grow up? What do I want to be when I grow up? You know, trying to pick a career is fun. What's a career? <laughs> That's another way of saying a job or what you want to be when you grow up. Hey, there's books in the library that list different kinds of careers. Really? See, you are going to be a great teacher. Hip Hop Harry, I would love to learn more about different careers. <laughs> well, let's go to the library and get started. Yeah! <laughs> I love to learn. Dum, 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 dum. Let me see, let me see. All righty, ha <laughs> ha. This book is called When I Grow Up, and there are hundreds of career choices in here. Wow, who would have thought there's so many things I could be when I grow up? Why don't we play a little game? One of you look in the book and find a career you like, and then stand up and give us clues about what the career is. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Can I look in the book first? Sure.
this is gonna be good. See if you can guess who I am. I wear a white coat. I know, a scientist. No, you come to see me when you're sick. A doctor. That's right. A doctor's a cool job. You get to help people feel better, and I love doing that. Maybe I want to be a doctor. This is fun. <laughs> it sure is. Who wants to find a career in the book and give us a clue this time? I do. Okay, let's see. What looks like a good career? Oh, I found something fun. This is going to be a good one. Everyone ready? I'm yeah. ready. To do my job, I have to wear a uniform. Oh, I know who you are. You're a police officer. No, not that kind of uniform. Here's another clue. You run a lot when you do this job. I think I know this one. You're a football player. You're getting close. I do play with the ball, but it's round, and you get points when you put it in a hoop. A basketball player! You got it. A basketball player is a cool job, too. I'm really getting some good career ideas. <laughs> That's great. I thought this game would be a good way to show you that there are many things you can be when you grow up. It sure is. It really is neat to learn all about these different careers. But the most exciting part is that you can choose whatever career you want. Now, do you all want to play one more time? Yeah! Sure. Hey, Pop Harry, can I go next? Sure. OK, let me see. Hmm. Uh, no peeking. <laughs> I think this is going to be hard to guess, but I really like this job. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. OK, here I go. My job is to take people from one place to another, and all my passengers have to buckle up. Oh, this is the easy one. You're a bus driver. <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's another hint. I spend a lot of time in the sky. And the thing I fly is called an airplane. An airplane pilot! That's right, I'm an airplane pilot. That's a cool job, too. I love learning about different careers. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. It needed an answer. I asked my friends, they're hip hop dancers. Where could I go? Where should I look to start our adventure? They gave me a book. I opened it up, and to my surprise, many fun things were hidden inside. I could learn about places far and near, or learn about what I want to do for my career. It's so much fun, just try and see. There's so many things that you can learn in the library. Learn with me, Hip Hop Harry. So tell me where we're going. To the library. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. Libraries hold a lot of information. It's a perfect place for your imagination. It's free to use when you become a member. So many books, so many adventures when you've read your book from cover to cover bring it back on time and you can get another you can learn about the sun and learn about rain you can learn about cars boats and trains and the sound a train makes everybody i learned a lot in the library and you can too learn with me <laughs> you kids are great. A kid who loves to learn is always number one in my book. Give me a hip hop hairy high five. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> this is so funny. Hey, Megan, what are you laughing about? Well, I'm still looking through this book about different careers, and this one is really funny. Come on, give us a hint. Okay. 
When you do this job, you make people laugh. Wow, this is a tough one. Can you give us another hint? Okay. You wear big shoes and have a big red nose. Wonk, wonk, wonk. Oh, <laughs> you're a clown. That's right. <laughs> hey, what's so funny over here? A job making me found in the book. Cool. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. Wonk, wonk, wonk. I know. You're all acting like clowns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Being a clown and making people laugh sounds like a fun job. It sure does. You know, Megan, I really am happy to see you're taking the time to learn about many different jobs. Me too. And now I have a lot of different ideas. But I'm not sure which one's right for me. Oh, that's okay, Megan. What's important is that you choose something that you love to do. Now, is there anything we talked about today that you like? Well... I like making people feel better. Like when my brother was sick, I took really good care of him. I brought him lots of tissues and made sure he drank all of his juice. You know what? I think I want to be a doctor. That's <laughs> it! Uh, idea. Cool. I could tell my teacher tomorrow that I want to be a doctor. A doctor is a great idea! <laughs> this is awesome. Thanks, guys, for helping me decide what I want to be when I grow up. Well, friends are supposed to help each other. And you guys are the best friends ever. <laughs>
there are still a lot more careers for you to learn about. Yeah, figuring out what you want to be when you grow up is fun. It is fun, and I know there are a lot more books we can read to figure out about different careers. Let's check it out. Hey, there's books in the library that list different kinds of careers. Really? See, you are going to be a great teacher. Hip Hop Harry, I would love to learn more about different careers. <laughs> well, let's go to the library and get started. Yeah! <laughs> hey, everybody, I know another career you all can do. Tell what? us, Hip Hop Harry. I'll give you a hint. This career involves my favorite kind of exercise. A dancer! <laughs> and what's my favorite kind of exercise? Dancing! You got it. It's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! When I say dance, you say circle. Dance! Circle! Dance! Circle! <laughs> All right. But before we get started, it is important that we do what? Warm-up! That's right, and I have a warm-up dance for us to do. All right, okay. I want to teach y'all a warm-up dance. I created it myself. It's called Do the Harry. Let's go. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands <laughs> All right, now that we've warmed up, it's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! That's right, let's do it!